Hi everyone, welcome to Meeting House Live, where we are not actually meeting. And we are not actually live. It is Wednesday, April 22nd, and I'm your host, Andrew Zhao. And I'm Madison Chow. As we enter week six of being at home all the time, many folks have leaned into their hobbies, while others have explored new ones. And for you, perhaps that hobby has been baking. For the latest tasty treat, let's send it over to Kenzie for what's trending in the kitchen. Hi everybody, so today I'm going to be baking my famous banana bread. Banana bread, we can be banana bread. Which is a recipe passed down from generation to generation in my family. Um, and it's delicious and super easy. So I already have all the dry ingredients in here and the mashed bananas. So after you already do that, you basically just add eggs, milk. Sorry, I'm just a little bit unorganized moisture to your cake besides the milk or besides the uh egg. we're just gonna mix i personally like chocolate chips in mine so we make one with chocolate chips and one without i doubled it so of course taste test <laughs> mm, really good very banana yeah i added a, an extra banana so good stuff i would rate it like a 9.6 out of 10 i'm eating the butt so kind of but whatever uh, that's basically it. Thank you so much. Thanks, Kenzie. That looks super tasty. Yeah, I would literally eat that right now. Mm -hmm. uh, while we may be sheltered in right now, that doesn't mean Minnesotans haven't been able to enjoy walks and being outside. So let's get an update and send it to our weather person. I mean, this yes. is like real this cold is, here. This is. In Minneapolis. Oh my gosh. Um, hey, Steve. Can yeah. you hear us? Can you hear yeah. us? Um, yeah, this this is real, guys. Thanks for that. What normal weather. Truly average indeed. Now, even though the majority of sports have been delayed or canceled, that doesn't mean we can't still be pumped about exercise, competition, and blind loyalty. Let's go to sports. Second free throw. My goodness. I'm not sure what that was. What's up, squad? In today's baseball news, in the Taiwanese Professional Baseball League, the China Trust brothers lost to the Uni Lions 7 4. Yeah, you keep telling me that. Who is she? In other news, I'm going to attempt a basketball trick shot. The great Bambino! So impressive. Yeah. And speaking of impressive, we're showcasing work from Rhoda Wonders and Violet Harrell in this week's Arts and Culture Corner. Who here likes to draw and paint? Me! I believe every day's a good day when you paint. I'm going outside. Oh no, you're not. Who are you? I'm the coronavirus, and you're not going anywhere. I'm gonna handcuff you to your house. You can't move until May or later. Hey! I'll also give you a face mask to silence you. Okay, I Oof. should be going now. Remember, no moving until May. Have fun. Wow, so much talent. Speaking of art, some people would consider playing video games an art form. Mm, would they? Yes, yes they would. And recently the youth group created its own Minecraft server and the students have been hard at work creating their homes, mining for resources, and herding llamas into their bedrooms. With the latest in Minecraft, let's go to Olivia. Andrew, you just started playing Minecraft recently, is that correct? Yeah, just a few days ago I started, and honestly, I'm pretty terrible. Uh, I'm running around, and a tarantula ate me up three times in a row. Oh, so I got frustrated, I quit. I started watching the new Michael Jordan uh, documentary. Look who's finally ready to play. Ah, yes. Michael Jordan, the GOAT. 
Yeah, truly, the goat. And uh, speaking of goats, let's close with our favorite segment, Animal Corner. With so much time at home, many people have decided to add to their families by adopting a pet. So let's meet the cutest new member of the Stagerberg family with Ben, Casey, and Jessica. A quick update, uh, she has killed seven squirrels, three raccoons, and uh, a neighboring coyote. Um, she's uh, pretty nervous around other dogs other than coyotes and uh, nervous around people, but other than that, she's a pretty normal puppy. So adorable. I want one. Madison, didn't you want to adopt a hairless cat? Yes, that's true. Um, I told you that in the middle scores in confidence, though. And now everybody knows. How fun is that? All right, folks, thanks for joining us. And don't forget to tune in next time. This has been Meeting House Live, where we're not actually meeting. And we're not actually live. Good night, everybody.